yeah, I was I was skeptical to begin with. I was kind of I was like, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. I would say that uh, the operator had his hand on the, the start and go. He was ready to hit the, the stop button really quick if anything went wrong. I'm just punching in the program and they just said, let it go. I was watching it, yeah. I had the door open a little bit, had my head in there as much as I could. The part did the job and Everybody kind of just looked at everybody, you know, it's like, wow. Because I was impressed. Dave, I think, was impressed. <laughs> well, we didn't go around high-fiving each other or anything like that, but we kind of, like, looked at each other and, and going, just gave each other a nod saying, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. It was, uh, it was amazing how fast it got through the park. Something you'd think you'd be doing on a plastic park rather than a steel park. Even though we might have... Uh, raised her eyebrows because it was so aggressive. Deep down inside, that's what we wanted. Because it wouldn't be worth changing if it was only gonna give us a thousandths more per rev and be at the same surface footage. We needed something that aggressive for us to make that change. Just the way that how straight the parts came off. Sometimes you can have a belly in a part or you have a bow to it. We didn't have to worry about going to another operation as far as facing off that end, making it flat. And just the, the time it saved was, it was amazing. My insert purchasing has dropped by about 75% in parting tools. Yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a big drop because of the longevity of, the, of that tool. I was shocked too, you know, and I found out how many of those I've bought opposed to the other inserts I bought over the past year. You know something is working well when an operator comes up and tells you, hey, uh, you know, he's, he's happy. I'm impressed. I'm like, I'm impressed. It's like I push it a little bit more each time I use it, you know, I'm just pushing it. And uh, if you stay within the guidelines, I mean, it's indestructible. I'm not saying you couldn't destroy it, but <laughs> I haven't yet. I haven't, so. But I could have just jinxed myself, too. <laughs> and don't forget to visit the Sandvik Coromant website.